Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we will be adding the final row to our blanket. Yay! <laughs> Very exciting isn't it? We have waited a long time for this. Um, I, When I get to the vlog on the weekend I'll tell you exactly how long it has taken us to add six rows of eight colours. <laughs> no, eight rows I was right the first time, sorry, six rows of eight colours. Get it right, Mary. <laughs> so today we're going to be adding the green and then we're also going to be finishing off our last row and attaching it to the very first um, square we did with the melon colour. So we have a lot to do with this tutorial, so it's going to take a little bit longer than the last one, but then after this we will be discussing on the weekend in our next vlog how we are going to do our border and what we are going to do next. Yours truly does like to wash and block every blanket that is made before I add a border. So I'll discuss that with you guys on the vlog as well. In the meantime, let's go ahead and pop our border on. I'm sorry, our border, not our border on. Let's go ahead and pop our green on and add that very final row before the border. You will need your crochet hook that you started off with. Mine was the 4.5. You'll need your scissors. You will need your sewing and darning weaving needle because you will have to weave in this very last edge, which I didn't do in the tutorial. I just um, went ahead and, and cut it. You'll also need to weave in any other ends that you have because when we get to do the vlog on the weekend, we'll be discussing the border and the border is uh, going to be the blanket sorry will be washed and blocked before the border goes on so all those ends will need to be woven in however if you do not wish to wash and block the blanket you don't have to it is not necessary i just do it for my own personal reasons which i discuss at the end of this tutorial so um, i'm not going to talk anymore we're just going to go ahead and attach our green to our blanket and that's it let's get going okay so where we left off last time was at the end of that purple row the very last square there oh my gosh made a mess of my yarn sorry guys okay now the blanket is quite big now so it's hard to fit in all the way through our lens <laughs> so i'll try and do the best i can okay now our last bit we did was three double crochets in that corner. Now we chain, let's bring it up a little bit, chain two, that's one and two, and we do another three double crochets in the same corner. You've done all this before, guys, so you should be like, you know, experienced. <laughs> we should fly through this tutorial today, we hope. Um, and if you are new and just joining us, Take your time, do the other tutorials first. Um, the links to those tutorials will be in the description box down below. Um, and then catch us up when you're ready. Okay, so we're going to jump into that very next space and pop in one cluster set, which is three double crochets. Okay. All right. Basic, basic. And then we're going to do the same in the next. Oops, whoops. Try that again in the next space, not the stitch, the space. Okay. One more. And then another set in the next space. I have a feeling my yarn just knotted up there. So <laughs> when I finish this last cluster set, just give me one moment. Okay, there. See, right there. Oh no, that's good. All good. No knots. Okay, now we are at the end of this square and we're going to pop ourselves in that last corner. So you need to do three double crochets in that corner. One, two, and three. Now this is where it changes a little bit. You chain one. Ordinarily we chain two in a corner, but we're going to chain one because this chain here will classify the second one. So what you're going to do is pop your hook through that chain right there. Hopefully it's not as thick as mine. Now when it goes through the chain, it needs to go through two loops. Have one on the bottom and two on the top. 
So pull the loop through there and through your other chain on the hook, okay? Then you chain one again and you do your next cluster set in that very first corner that you come to. And I'll show you exactly what you've done in a moment. Just jump into the next space and do the redouble crochets or your cluster set, whatever you want to call it. Two and three. I'm going to show you exactly what you've done so you can do the rest yourself without having to watch me and listen to me. Gas bag the whole way through. <laughs> Gas bag, as they say here in Australia. So this is what you've done. You have done a cluster set in each space you came to. Well, first you finished off that corner. Then you've done a cluster set in each space you came to. Then you chained one, slip stitched into that next chain, chained one, three double crochets in the corner. Now you're going to do exactly the same. Cluster set, cluster set, cluster set, chain one, slip stitch to the top of that, and so on and so on all the way until you get to the end of this corner do your three double crochets and wait for me there. Here we are at the end of the row. We have done our three double crochets in that last stitch. Let me blow that up for you a little bit. I know, I know, it's getting very big, isn't it? <laughs> so what we're going to do, we've done our three double crochets. You need to, as we've been doing all along, chain one nice and loosely in that corner. Turn it around, oh, so you can see what I did just then. Just turn your work around. Grab your next square, okay? Now remembering that we are going on the side that is facing us. So to see the little Vs, they are facing us. That is the right side. If the Vs are facing that way, it's the wrong side. And actually you can see the difference between that's all bubbled and that's nice and neat. So this is actually our right side. And I'm just going to find that, there it is, that little knot right there. And I like to crochet over it in the corner. Okay, here we go. Now, all right, we are going to blow that up a little bit. You have to hope you don't mind the noise in the background. My son is playing his uh, PlayStation games. Okay, so yarn over hook. And pop your hook through and you're doing a normal double crochet in that first corner. Okay. Easy, easy. Of course it is. Then we are lifting our loop. Remember that we're lifting the loop. Okay. And we are going to pop it in that very last stitch we did right there. Not the chain, but the very last stitch. We put our hook in there. We pop the loop back on. Give it a tug. And then pull it through slowly okay and then we do another double crochet right there pull up a loop find your next stitch corresponding to that side grab your loop give it a gentle tug and pull the loop through do one more because that's our third double crochet for your corner pull up that loop Pop your hook in. Remember, this is a stitch that almost looks like it's in the middle. Okay, so pop your loop, your hook in there. Pop the loop over. Pull the loop through. And then you're going to double crochet right into the very next space that you come to. And I'm going to show you what you did. Okay. And that's all you've done. Just joined. Keep going until your work is there i will just say there and i'll meet you up all right so here we are at the end of our row i started the corner just so that we can get organized so there's my first double crochet in the corner then i grab that corresponding side and pull it through do my second double crochet in the corner pull up the loop Grab that corresponding side, pull the loop through, and my third double crochet in that corner. Pull up the loop, pop it in the next stitch, pull the loop through, chain one. Now we're not exactly in the corner again. Remember how we get into that corner and 
move out of the stitch and into the corner you put your hook in the corner pop your loop on the hook again pull it through and up over the corner chain one pull up a loop turn your work a little bit you have a very next corner right there to pop into see the corner right there grab your loop and pull it through there chain one nice and tight not too loose then we're going to do three double crochets in a corner again so start off with one don't make it too loose this part because that'll look gappy there we don't want that and then we go two and then we go three and then we just jump into our next space one two i'll go a bit fast guys so i can get to the end of the row there for you and then we can add our next green and then once we add that next color you can probably do the rest of the row by yourself and i'll meet you up at the end all right but for now let's just wait till we get to this corner right here we're almost there one two and three okay the lucky part or the lucky thing is i should say is that we are at the end of our colors we are no longer going to be coloring coloring crocheting any more colors to the blanket we have finished at the end of this row and then all we have to do is decide on what border we're going to do okay so there you go you have attached that first square and you've joined it there slip stitching into that first space chaining one slip stitching to the second space chaining one and then jumping sorry jumping back over into the corner and doing your three double crochets so that part there is very basic the difficult part is when we are adding our very next square so what we're we going to do finding this camera just give me one second guys i'm just going to bring the camera back a bit okay i just brought the camera back a bit so that i, I can stay in um, frame because i keep jumping out of frame don't i guys with this tutorial it's only because the blanket is getting so big now that it's, i'm finding it awkward <laughs> to hold so we're chaining oh that's too far away sorry guys so we are chaining one turn your work your big blanket <laughs> turn your big blanket around remember when you're grabbing your other square to make sure that um it's the right side facing you which it is we're going to pop that there and do our normal double crochet in the corner of our blanket that's a bit far away isn't it guys sorry okay a normal double crochet in that corner and then pull up that loop and remember we are jumping right into that stitch there the very last stitch of the other side pull the loop through and do another double crochet pull up your loop corresponding stitch pull that loop through and another double crochet right there and that's your third one pull up the stitch pull the loop through and there you go that is what you've been doing all along and you're going to keep doing it until you get to that space there don't even start the corner just get to that space and i will meet you up okay so here we are at the end of oh, i keep coming out of frame it's driving me batty today this big blanket okay at the end of that section there i will blow that up for you so you can't see okay so we're going to lift up that loop and we're going to the corresponding stitch there pull the loop through and now we're going to jump into the corner we'll do our first double crochet in the corner pull up that loop jump into the corresponding stitch and pull it through double crochet again pull up a loop jump into the corresponding stitch and pull the loop through one more double crochet in that corner pop up the loop put it through the corresponding stitch remember we have to put it through the stitch before we get into the center 
the circle there, oh, the circle, in the center stitch there. So pull the through, the thread through. Hello, wake up, Mary. It's getting too late, I think. <laughs> Half asleep. So we're chaining one. Pull up that loop. Now this is the little bit of a tricky area. It's just this last circle where all four sides are joining. Now the first space is there. You pop your loop on the hook. Pull it through that space, chain one, pull up that loop. Then you come to the very next corner, pop your hook through, grab the loop. This is where you can actually slip, so just be careful because I've slipped many times. Pull the loop through, chain one, and then you let go, obviously, yep. Yeah. Then you get into your next corner, which is it's very tricky, but it is there. It is right there. Okay, so you grab that loop and you pull that through there as well. Now, this is the section that if you don't do this part a little bit tight, it's going to look gappy and yucky. So chain one. Just give the stitch a little bit of a tug there, not too much because you don't want it to be um, really tight either. And then we're going to do one double crochet in the corner there. Pop the loop up. Now, see those three double crochets there? You've got to get into the very first stitch, which is right there see that stitch right there that's where you need to be you grab your loop and you pull the loop through there do your second double crochet in that corner pull up your loop go to the corresponding stitch there grab your loop pull it through and one more time that's your third double crochet in that corner. And then you're at your last stitch, which is should be right in the middle of that space there. And then you just jump into your very next space. And you're doing exactly what you've been doing all along. Pretty cool, huh? I tell you. I can't get enough of this stitch. I truly can't. Now, there are other ways of joining um, our squares. And over the next, um, oh, I don't know, six, seven months, I will be showing you different methods of joining squares. This is one method. This, I believe, is the best method, in my opinion. And again, that's just my opinion. <laughs> don't take me literally. Um, there are... Other methods that actually, they're joining as you go, but they actually give it a pretty raised look or a flat look or a, a zigzaggy kind of stitch look. So there are many ways that you can join your squares. Then there's your good old fashioned, let's sew them together, which takes like a hundred years, <laughs> exaggerating by, you know, 90 something. But, you know, that's uh, neither here nor there, but there's those stitches as well, okay? This is just one way, and there are millions of others. Well, I wouldn't say millions, but there are quite a lot of ways of joining. And we are going to try them all out. Why? Well, why not? That's what I say. Okay. Now, we are ready for the next corner. Pop your hook in there. And as we've been doing all along, just pull your loop through. Stitch number two, pop your loop through there. Stitch number three. And don't forget your last stitch first. Pop your loop through that last stitch first. Then we chain one, pull up that loop. Okay, now there's your corner. Pop your hook in there. Grab your loop and pull it through. Chain one, go to your very next corner, which is, oh, this is a tricky one, this one. 
goes. This is where it's really tricky. You've got to be careful. Oops, I'm not even in frame. You've got to be careful where you're putting it. I've put it through that corner. Now the other corner is there. It's not over here. It's there, right there. Very, very tricky. Pop that loop through. Chain one. Now this one, we're not joining down there. We're coming across again like we did before. I'll bring that out. Like we did before with this one here, we just sort of turned and come across. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. We do our next double crochet, our very first double crochet in the corner there, and our second, and our third. And then, guys, the best part about this is you can now continue. Let's turn this guy around this way. All the way along, as you've been doing these two squares, you can now do your next square and your next square and your next and so on and so on and so on. So you're actually coming back this way, turning, going down this way. And then crocheting all your four sides together. And then you're doing this way, down, turn and start again. So we are going to go ahead and do that. Oh, no, we picked up that one then. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to meet you when we get to the end of the row right there. Ooh, this is exciting. Ooh. Okay, I will meet you back in about, um, I don't know, seven hours. <laughs> no, not really. I'll meet you back in about, uh, let's say, 45 minutes or so, depending on how long it takes you to do it. All right, I'll meet you back. Alrighty guys, we have come to our very last square. Oh, very exciting. It's actually our very last square of the series. Yay! <laughs> uh-huh, we haven't finished yet. Don't get too excited. <laughs> we still have the square to go. So we are going to pop our normal double crochet in, oops, in that square. Let's blow this up for you so you can see. Okay, Ooh, too close. Sorry guys. Sometimes I get too, too, uh, excited with my camera work here <laughs> so you pop your hook in your corresponding stitch like we have been doing a little bit fiddly now because it's a very last square and a very big blanket then you've got your normal double crochet in there as well corresponding stitch pretty exciting guys i know i know we're kind of uh at a milestone now almost not yet we still need to um, pop ourselves into the next space, by the way. We still need to give ourselves a little border for this blanket. And before the border, we need to finish off a row, which I will show you in a moment. Once we finish off this particular square, pull it through, do another one. Pull up a loop. Pop it in there, pull it through. Um, yeah, one more. <laughs> I'm, I'm rushing through it now because I want to get it done for you guys. I really want to move on to that very next step. And in the next space, pop up your loop, corresponding stitch, pull it through. I wonder if you need it a little bit closer, just that little bit. Double crochet in that space there, pull up your loop. Corresponding stitch and pull it through. One more in that space. And now we're going to do the space just before your corner. Two. Corresponding stitch. We're almost there into that corner, guys. And three. Pull up and loop. Corresponding stitch. And one in the corner of the first corner, that is. Pop up your loop. There you go. And two. and three all right now i know you know how to do this but i'm still going to show you nice and slowly 
Pop your loop firstly in that stitch for starters. Chain one, pull up your loop in the corner. Pull that loop through, chain one, pull up your loop. Turn your big ginormous blanket around. <laughs> Pop yourself into the other corner or corresponding corner, if you will. Chain one, pull up a loop. Now you've got your very last corner, which is right there. Chain one, fiddly bit here because we're right on the very end. So pop a double crochet in that corner, pull up your loop. Go, mm. really is fiddly, isn't it? Go to your corresponding stitch, which is splitting on me. Well done there. There, and double crochet there. Corresponding. This is the exciting bit, guys. We're nearly there. One more in that corner there. And we're jumping into the next space. Pull up your loop. And pull it through. And another. And another. And in the next space. Two. Oh, 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 oh. What I've done there is I've just... Have a look at that. Split that yarn. And that means that could end up in a bit of a drama when the blanket is finished. You get the whole blanket finished and you think, uh-oh, you have to take it all undone. You don't want that. So fix up your errors before they blow up into something a lot bigger. <laughs> okay, pop one there, two. And three. One, two, getting excited guys, <laughs> well I am actually, <laughs> okay, three, pull up your loop, now we're hopping into our corner and we're doing our corner like normal, one corresponding stitch it's going to change in a minute two corresponding stitch and whoops three corresponding stitch okay there you go now we are at the end of the row we could have to kind of do that little U-turny kind of thing that we've been doing at the end of each um, colour. So we're chaining one. Pop yourself into that corner space right there. Okay. Pull the loop through. Chain one. And pop three double crochets in that corner right there. Two and a three. Three in the next space. Home run, guys. Home run. Woohoo. I know, I sound like a baseball game, don't I? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two and three. Pop into the next space. One. 
two and three. Oh, my thread is all caught up now because it's starting to get to the, the end of that skein. <laughs> okay, now we are going to, this is where you are at the moment. Just so you know where you are, that's our final green right there. And that's a normal corner. We are going to pop in a normal corner here. And that is three, two, three. So three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one and two. And then three double crochets again. One, two, and three. Pull the loop up there. Now grab your blanket, bring it all over. Okay, so you've got all the greens on. Now, if we wanted to, which we're not going to, but if we wanted to, we could finish the rest off next week. It's not that difficult. We could do it now. I'm just wondering how much time we have on our video here. Let's just see how far this video is, and then I'll decide whether or not I want to keep going. I think we can continue because this part is a home stretch so what we need to do is so we've done that normal double cluster set there okay so now we're just going to jump into the next space and do our normal three double crochets there and there once I show you this section you'll know what to do three double crochets in there one two and three and then three double crochets in there one two and three now this is the only part where it's different which is not much difference because we've been doing this all the way through so we jump into our corner and we do our normal three double crochets how far away are we there we are our normal three double crochets as we would or as we have been doing okay now chain one remember that space right there that we jump into the little chain right there not the space with the actual chain so we pull a loop through like normal yes pull it through there chain one pop into your next corner and do three double crochets one, two, and three. Pop into the next space. One, two, and three. Pop into your next space. One, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, guys. Sorry. Two, <laughs> I'll slow down. <laughs> three. I get so um, happy and excited towards the end of a project. Hop into your next space two and three all right so we came to the next corner three double crochets in the next corner one two and three chain one jump into that remember that chain stitch from before right there as we've been doing this one is nice and tight <laughs> Part of it's tight, the other part of it's loose. There we go. Pull the loop through and through again. Chain one and three double crochets in that corner. The next corner that is. I'll show you what we've done and then what you have to do until we get to the end of the row. Okay, so let's bring that out. All right, so that's what you're doing. You're just going all the way across, chaining one, slip stitching into that chain, Chain one and then keep going. Keep doing your uh, cluster sets in your corners until you get to the end of the green row. All right, guys, here we are at the end of our green row, our very last row, if you will. Woo! <laughs> okay, well, it's not exactly our last row. We still need to go across. Okay, bring that up. All right, we are going to pop our... Three, two, three in that corner. One. Oh, too close. Sorry, guys. Two. Three. 
chain one and two and kind of turn a little bit one two oops I'm all caught up with my thread now three and let me show you what you need to do now so really 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 all you need to do is go one two three four five six and on your sixth color you get to there and i shall meet you up oh i'm so excited look at me shake <laughs> all right so get to that corner right there and i'll meet you up and now you know how to do it you go up to here again chain one slip stitch in there keep going you've done this whole row here and that's exactly what you've got to do there the only difference is you're looking at different colors that's all and yours truly is playing a little bit of yarn chicken <laughs> check it out all right i don't know if i'll make it across i hope i do but you never know okay so go all the way across and i shall meet you in the cluster just before it okay all right guys here we are at the end of our row i'm still playing yarn chicken guys i'm still playing looks like i'm going to win just for now <laughs> we're going to put our normal cluster set in the space before the corner two and three sorry very far away guys okay so now oof. okay now we're going to put our three double crochets in the corner now if you notice here there was three double crochets from the very first cluster set we did so we're going to put another three double crochets in that corner and three chain one and two because this is the end corner and guess what guys we are going to slip stitch at the very top of that chain that we first did the first three chains the beginning when we first started the corners and we'll pull it through i want you to actually pull the loop through now before you go cutting anything okay just have a quick look and make sure all your cluster sets are correct all the way through. Um, I know mine is because I checked it before I came back on screen. I'll be grabbing my scissors. If I can find them. Here we go. I'm going to cut it there. You're probably wondering why I'm cutting it. I do need to get a new scheme, but that's not the reason. You're wondering why I'm cutting it if we're going to be doing a border. Well, I'm going to cut it there. Pull up a loop. If you don't want to cut, if you've already cut it, sorry. <laughs> if you don't want to cut and you want to keep going with the border uh, without doing what we're going to do the next step then that's fine but yours truly always does this now what I do is let's bring that out a little bit when I've finished a a join and I always have that very last row done which is partially a border really in itself if you've run out of yarn and you want to leave it like that then by all means leave it like that wash and block and get it ready to send off to your um, destination or wherever it is you want to put this blanket now yours truly does not do that what I do now is I weave in every end at the back and I've got a few ends because I changed my skein a few times I had to add uh, one skein there so that's one skein and then there was another one over here so that's two skeins and your very last skein was there so I think I used about three skeins I might have used two I'm not really sure anyway I'll count it at the end because I know how many I bought that's the wrong way around and then what I'll do and I'll show you this in the next vlog I will wash and block this whole blanket before I start the proper border now the reason I do that there is many reasons why but one main reason is that it makes it easier for you to find the stitching properly it makes it straight and perfectly neat so that when you add your border um, you don't have to fuss about you know having to stretch and pull and put it all into place and it's all naturally in place plus if you wash it in a wool wash it will actually be nice and soft in your hands when you're doing a border and if you're anything like me you pop on the couch pop it over your legs and crochet the border while it's on you and it's keeping you nice and warm as well <laughs> so there you go okay so all i can say guys is thank you so much for watching thank you for finishing our very last color yay 
wait for the vlog on the weekend to find out what our next step is going to be. Okay. Uh, after that, I think that um, we will get together and learn how to do a gorgeous little border. Now we're going to make the next three rows or four rows, I haven't decided yet, of a basic border. It's going to be similar to this. And what I'll do in the next step, I will show you. Oh, let's get that right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Try it again. I will show you how to work this area here. So you're not having this little bobbled edge in each section there. All right, I'll show you how to do that. It makes things and makes life a lot easier and makes the blanket lay flat instead of all bobbled and whatever else have you. And I'll show you that on our very next tutorial. In the meantime, if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so you can receive further tutorials in your inbox. And yes, guys, I'm about to say it. And as I do with every one of my tutorials, ciao for now.